but uh and I've I've been in some hairy situations before, but this time with that goat, that's bad news. <laughs> you know? Bad news. Yeah, sorry about that. Today I'm building some shelves for my son's room. He is an avid Lego builder, and quite frankly, I'm tired of his Legos all over the floor. They don't exactly feel great in the bottom of your feet. So we're gonna build some shelves, starting with some two x six construction grade lumber here that I got from the big box store. In total, I'm making eight shelves, and they're gonna be various lengths and depths, just to give it a more 3D feel when they're up on the wall. I'm also cutting off those rounded edges that come on, you know, all the regular construction grade lumber. I want that square look to reflect more of a Lego block feel. So I'm starting off here with some 80 grit sandpaper. These things are obviously dirty when they come from the store, so they're pretty rough. And if you've ever bought lumber from the big box store, you know it is trash, especially this construction grade. So I'm just using some of this plastic wood filler, filling all these little dents that are all over the place here. Once that dries, I'm gonna knock it down with 120. Everything here is going to be painted, so it's just important to get everything smooth versus if I was staining it, then I would take an extra few steps to get it prepared. So this is pretty neat. You're going to want to check this out. Here's a good trick. If you put a pencil on the wood before you sand it all, you have nothing to worry about. As long as the pencil is gone like that, voila, you know you hit all of the marks. It's perfect. So now I'm using that same 120 grit to knock down all of these edges. Some of these shelves are gonna be at my son's head height. So I wanna make sure that, especially these corners, have a decent round over because if he whacks his head on these, that could leave a mark for sure. Oh, son of a, that's gonna leave a mark. I bought these one inch dowels from Amazon a while back and this is one of those projects where I'm just trying to use things that I already have instead of going to the store just to buy something specific. They're pretty thin and I had to stack like three of them together to get the exact shape and depth that I was going for. It, it took quite a while, you can understand. But I have a better solution. Go to the store and buy some one inch dowel. Now for something like this, you're gonna want a chop saw, but you can crank these out pretty quickly, especially if you speed up the footage just like this. Just knocking down the edges that were a little frayed from the chop saw here. Now we start gluing. This takes quite a while. Of course, it depends on how many shelves you're building. But I do have another tip for you. You can see this spacer I'm using right here. It's just the end of a two x four and I just cut out a notch on it so I can glue one circle down and then move it along and it gives me the exact same distance between each one, a lot easier. And I got another tip for you. Just put a little drop of glue here. That way you don't have any squeeze out around the edges. It'll save you time from cleaning all that up. And it still holds great. Did I mention that this will take a while? And done. I added some primer over the knots. I'm gonna be painting the tops and the bottoms of these white, so I wanted to help hide all those knots. It'll be just, I won't have to do as many coats. You know, this footage actually reminds me of a movie scene. My reasoning behind painting the top and the bottom of the shelves white was to help the Lego sets stand out. I did think about painting the whole thing a solid color, but in the end I just didn't. Looking back, I don't know if that was such a wise decision, as you know, it certainly adds more time trying to paint straight lines, but I think they came out pretty cool. Speaking of painting the tops and the bottoms, I'm using this little four inch foam roller. These work great for small projects like this. They really give a nice smooth finish. Now on to how I will be installing these on the wall. And I'm using your favorite of mine, pocket holes. Now I'll be screwing these into the studs, so I went ahead and measured 16 inches on center. 
for each of these. Some of the shelves will have two, some will have three. It all depends on the size. Gonna hit as many studs as I can. Here I'm using the magnet trick. Basically the magnet finds the screw and once it finds the screw, that's where you know your stud is. So I'm just gonna make a little pencil mark here. And that's a real quick, simple way of finding your studs. Now I'm just gonna draw a line for reference, make sure these shelves are nice and level. When drilling for the pocket holes, I made sure that on the shelves that were going to be higher up on the wall, I made sure to put the drill holes on the top of the shelves, that way you won't see them. It really doesn't make a difference because I do go back later and add in plugs and seal it all up nice. So they're on there pretty good. And again, they're just holding Lego sets very light, so it's not like I'm going to be putting a bunch of books or anything on these shelves. So, if I'm hitting at least two studs, I'm in good shape. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. While editing this, I actually just paused it and went in my son's room, and I checked to make sure that these shelves are level. But for some reason, this camera angle just it gives an optical illusion here. It's, a, it's actually an optical illusion. It's the pattern on the pants. The, it's not fl flattering in the, the crotchal region. And here you can see the reason for these shelves. There's just Legos everywhere. And again, if I'm being honest, it still wasn't enough shelves. Alright, so what do you think of the shelves? I really like them. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Now I can fit a lot more. Now I got a bunch of the Legos that I had my floor onto these. And yeah, that was basically a huge mess. Yeah. So I'm glad to have this all up. And now I can buy more. Now I can get more Legos to. And then you could just keep building more. So. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that later. All right, so another build and another video for you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this. Uh, I really I had fun coming up with this concept. Uh, my son needed shelves for Legos because they're, I mean, we still have Legos all over the place, but at least this is a start to get them where they need to be. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate that thumbs up. Give me a like. It's a new channel still, and we're still trying to build it as fast as we can, so a like goes a long way. And if you want to be notified of when I build another, have another video come out, you got to subscribe. So please hit that subscribe button. So like, subscribe, and uh, hey, Jack, what else? I'm do right here, Dad. Oh, uh, what else do we do besides like and subscribe? Uh, bell and notifications. Okay. Well, what's the bell do for them? It notifies them when you get a new video. Okay. Out. Oh, okay. So it's. Do you get it now? I, I think I got it now. Okay. I'll, I'll, I won't forget again. And comments down below, right? What's something that they should comment on this one, do you think? What project should you make next? Oh, that's a real that, good that, one. That might be Give me a yeah, good idea for a project for next. And um, we'll, let us know like what color you like. We got orange, we got green, blue, yellow, red. Let Jack know. He's going to read these comments too. So keep them nice. Keep them friendly. And let us know what color you like. So, I appreciate it. Thanks, dude. Thanks. One take. We did this in one take. <laughs>